prove that d by dx of natural log of x is 1 over x. Okay, so in other words, uh, we want to prove that the derivative uh, of natural log of x is 1 over x. So we're going to use uh, the first principle to prove this. Okay, so by first principle, by first principle, you can say d by dx of natural log of x is equal to the limit when h approaches 0 of natural log of x plus h minus natural log of x over h. Okay, applying the uh, log rule, I'll factor out 1 over h. So I'll start with the limit when h approaches 0 of 1 over h natural log of x plus h over x. So when you're taking away log, you divide uh, the mm, arguments. Okay, so natural log of x plus h minus x is natural log of x plus h over x. Now dividing uh, by x, so this is the limit when h approaches 0 of 1 over h natural log of 1 plus h over x. Now I'm going to do a substitution. So uh, let uh, v is equal to h over x, which implies uh, h is equal to vx in place of h we can write vx and when h approaches 0 that's the limit we have the limit h approaches 0 so when h is approaching 0 what would v approach when h is approaching 0 v would also approach 0 so now we're going to change the limit from h to v and in place of h, I'm going to write vx. So this, therefore, I'll write like this. Therefore, d by dx of natural log of x uh, changes to the limit. In place of h approaches 0, we can write v approaches 0 of 1 over vx natural log of 1 plus h over x is v. Okay, so what happens now? So I can write this like this. I can factor out 1 over x like this. 1 over x times the limit v approaches 0 of 1 over v natural log of 1 plus v. Okay, so this is equal to 1 over x times, I'm going to change the place of the limit. So instead of writing limit here, I can apply the limit to this. So I can, I'm, I'm going to say, okay, before that, so this is same as, uh, okay, so let me change this, sorry. Uh, so this, I'm going to write like this. This is equal to, let me do one more step. So this is 1 over x times, uh, applying the log rule, so can I write limit v approaches 0 of natural log of 1 plus x, 1 plus v, sorry, 1 plus, 1 plus v to the power 1 over v. Okay, so applying again, this is a log rule, uh, 1 over v as a product can be taken as a, written as a power. So now this is equal to 1 over x times natural log of, I can place the limit here, the limit when v approaches 0 of 1 plus v to the power 1 over v. Okay, now by definition, uh, this is nothing, this is 1 over v. 
and this the whole thing is nothing but the constant e okay so this is nothing but one oh i will explain that a, a times natural log of e this whole thing is nothing but a definition this is nothing but this is the constant e okay so so yeah the limit when v approaches zero of one plus v to the power one over v is nothing but uh, the constant e which is 2.7 so i'll show you that say when v is approaching zero so if you put say one plus 0 0.001 raised to one divided by 0 0.001 this is 2.71 so let me make this still smaller let me put three zeros here one two three and same thing to this number one two three 2.7182 2. let me add two more zeros this is almost zero this is approaching zero let me put three more zeros one two three and i have to do the same thing to the I have to put three zeros one two three that is two point seven one eight two eight so as you this number approaches zero this number would be approaching e now what is e e is oops shift e one this is two point seven one eight two is e okay and so this whole thing becomes e so this is one over x so let me rewrite so this we have started with d by dx of natural log of x that's what we started so let me use the white color so this is and natural log of e has a base of e so this is nothing but one therefore i can say d by dx of natural log of x is equal to 1 over x.